You are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. David Goggins Inspired by the powerful lessons in Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds by David Goggins, this journey invites us to examine and dismantle the hidden barriers that hold us back. Goggins' story exemplifies how we each carry the potential to overcome both mental and physical limitations, pushing us to reimagine what we believe we can achieve. But breaking these invisible limits isn't something reserved for the select few. In reality, each of us has the power to make that choice. Today, we'll dive into the story of Ethan, a man who, like many, felt trapped by his own doubts, his routines, and his inner fears. His story reveals that transformation doesn't happen in a single, bold leap, but through small, committed steps into discomfort, a journey that each of us can embark on. Step one, acknowledge and commit. The start of Ethan's journey was anything but easy. In fact, it was one of the hardest steps he'd ever taken because it forced him to confront his deepest fear that his life had become a predictable cycle with no real purpose. Ethan was an average guy. He worked an unremarkable job, maintained shallow relationships, and deep down, wondered if this was all his life would ever amount to. Dreams he once had, traveling the world, achieving something meaningful, had faded into the background as he settled into comfort. Then, during a routine checkup, everything changed. The doctor's words were a wake-up call. If you don't make some serious lifestyle changes, you're heading toward major health complications. It wasn't just the diagnosis that jarred him. It was the realization that he had let himself slip into a life he hadn't chosen, a life he was simply existing in rather than living fully. Ethan spent hours that night staring at the ceiling, the words echoing in his mind. Is this it? Is this really all there is? That was the turning point, where he decided that if he didn't act now, he might never get another chance. Yet, he knew that he couldn't change everything at once. So, he committed to something small but challenging, running a single mile each morning. The first day was brutal. Every step felt like pushing a boulder up a hill. His legs burned, his lungs protested, and his mind screamed at him to stop. Why are you doing this? It asked over and over as he forced his body to keep moving. But that's where real change begins, with a single, small, uncomfortable step forward. If you're on the verge of making a similar change, take Ethan's lesson to heart. Real transformation doesn't start with grand gestures. It begins with a choice to challenge yourself, to do something difficult and uncomfortable even if it's small. It's in those first steps that we begin to see what we're capable of. Step two, embrace the resistance. The first week was a relentless struggle for Ethan. Every morning as he laced up his shoes, his mind fired off every reason not to go. You're too tired. One day off won't hurt. What's the point of all this? This wasn't just a battle against his body. It was a full on mental war. The resistance was unlike anything he'd experienced before, and it taught him that his true opponent wasn't fatigue or pain, but the doubts in his own mind. One particularly cold morning, the temptation to quit almost overpowered him. The wind bit at his face, and the gray sky seemed to sap every ounce of motivation. Standing on his porch, he found himself stuck, unable to take that first step onto the street. But then he remembered something he'd read from Goggins. If you can fight through the pain long enough, the reward is yours. That thought ignited a spark in him, and he started to run, even if it felt like the world was against him. This mental resistance isn't unique to Ethan. It's something we all face when we try to push past our limits. Our minds are masters at building walls, telling us we're not ready, that failure is inevitable or that the discomfort isn't worth it. Ethan learned quickly that if he wanted to get stronger, he couldn't just train his body. He had to train his mind to stop seeking the path of least resistance. 
Embracing resistance means acknowledging that the discomfort you feel isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of growth. So ask yourself, what fears or excuses are holding you back from becoming who you're meant to be? Embracing discomfort is about challenging those voices, quieting them for a moment, and stepping forward anyway. Step 3. Scale up intentionally. Over time, something remarkable began to happen. Ethan's daily mile started to feel manageable, even enjoyable. He'd found a rhythm, a sense of peace in the act of pushing himself. His endurance grew, his body felt stronger, and for the first time, he felt proud of himself. But here's the thing. Once you break past a certain limit, you realize you're capable of much more. Ethan understood that breaking limits isn't about chasing extremes, but about building deliberately with intention. He decided to set new, incremental challenges. First, he signed up for a 5K, which felt like an enormous feat at the time. Completing that race filled him with a confidence he hadn't felt in years. But he didn't stop there. He set another challenge that was unrelated to running, one that would force him to confront a deeper fear, public speaking. For years, Ethan had avoided any situation that required him to speak in front of others. Just the thought of it made his palms sweat. But he knew that if he could tackle this fear, he would be breaking another invisible limit. So he joined a local speaking group, shaking through his first speech. Every time he faced that fear, it became a little easier, and with each attempt, he felt himself becoming stronger, more resilient. This stage of the journey is essential. Progress doesn't happen in one giant leap. It's a steady climb, with each goal serving as a foundation for the next. Ask yourself, what's one challenge that would push me just beyond my comfort zone? Focus on building intentional growth. Remember, every step forward brings you closer to becoming the person you want to be. Step 4. Confront and overcome a major barrier. As his confidence grew, Ethan knew it was time to face a challenge that once felt impossible. Running a half marathon. This wasn't just a physical test. It was a culmination of every mental and physical battle he'd fought in the past months. The night before the race, he barely slept, haunted by the familiar voice of doubt. You don't belong here. You're not ready. When he lined up at the starting line, he was surrounded by experienced runners who looked like they belonged. And yet, he reminded himself, he wasn't there to compete with them. He was there to prove something to himself. As the race began, every mile brought a fresh wave of challenges. By mile 10, his legs felt like lead, his breathing was labored, and every step felt like it could be his last. He wanted to quit, but as he slowed to a walk, he heard another voice in his head. Keep going. This is where you find out who you really are. That realization changed everything. Ethan wasn't there to finish a race. He was there to break the chains of self-doubt, to show himself that he could endure, even when everything in him begged to stop. When he crossed the finish line, it wasn't just a physical victory. It was a testament to the power he'd found within himself a power he never knew he had. Find your major barrier, the challenge that seems beyond reach. It could be physical, mental, or emotional. And when you face it, remember that it's not about the outcome. It's about proving to yourself that you're stronger than your doubts. The victory isn't in the achievement. It's in the person you become by choosing to keep going. Step 5. Reflect, refine, and repeat. After the race, Ethan didn't stop. He reflected on everything he'd learned, every moment he doubted himself, and every small victory that had led to his transformation. He realized that his journey had been about far more than running. Each challenge had forced him to confront his own mind, to question the beliefs and limits he'd carried for years. And that's the essence of growth. True transformation isn't about achieving a single goal, it's a commitment to continual improvement. As Ethan looked back, he saw that each step he'd taken had prepared him for the next, 
creating a cycle of resilience that could carry him through any challenge he faced in the future. Growth, he understood, is a never-ending journey. Each of us has the power to begin this cycle. Reflect on what you've achieved, refine your approach, and then repeat the process. Each step forward, no matter how small, builds a foundation for the next. Remember, the journey of breaking limits is continuous. Every barrier you break today opens up new possibilities for tomorrow. Final call to action. If Ethan's journey resonates with you, take this as your sign to start your own. Inspired by the teachings of David Goggins in Can't Hurt Me, master your mind and defy the odds. Ask yourself, what invisible limits are holding you back? The barriers you see today are only as real as you allow them to be. Take one small step, however insignificant it may seem, and make that the start of something bigger. If this story has moved you or sparked a fire within, take a moment to like this video, share it with someone who needs to hear this, and subscribe to our channel for more content that pushes boundaries and unlocks potential. This is more than a video. It's a call to action to redefine what's possible. As Ethan learned, the true victory isn't in the goal itself. It's in the person you become, the strength you uncover, and the resilience you build by choosing to go beyond the limits you once thought were unbreakable. So, take that first step, break those invisible barriers and discover the strength that's been inside you all along.